What's up, everybody? Tyler Guns back here for another sound design vlog, episode three. Make this really short, make it sweet, make it effective, flawless, victory, clean cut, decapitation. We're just going to murder this thing. But first, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Spice latte is uh, killing the game. It is October. It's time for that stuff to kind of roll around. Also, for inspiration, I don't know if you're doing sound design or making a beat or whatever. Woo! You just got to have a candle, man. I think this one's vanilla pumpkin. I don't really know what a vanilla pumpkin sounds like. But uh, it smells good. And it makes me happy. I'm in a really relaxed, meditative state of mind. I'm vibrating on a higher level. So this is good. All right, guys. Well, we got our logo right here. Real short, real sweet. Sky view imaging. I like the fade. We got some growth. To me, that's a filter. I want to get something to emulate this reel spinning. In fact, I do. I know I have an 8 millimeter sample of a reel spinning. I don't see anything really musical moving inside of this. I think we're just going to build a chord. We're just going to build a chord and slowly reveal it until the end. Got my metronome on. Okay, so I'm going to start off really, really, really simple. I think I already know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have... Okay, so I loaded up a pad in Nexus. I've got this Borellian Afterglow. I like it. I like it's got kind of like an ominous, kind of ominous thing going on here. Sounds kind of like strings, but it's got some, it's got some air in it too. Woo! All I'm gonna do, I know that my, the length of my graphic and the specified BPM that I had to fit it into a two or four bar phrase, uh, I fit it into a two bar phrase. I got my MIDI clip. I can adjust the length down here at the bottom left. I'm gonna drag this up to two. I wanna hit this C down here. C1. I'm just gonna drag that all the way up. There we go. So I got my MIDI clip right here. I'm gonna click it, click and hold it, hit tab to switch views. Drop back in the same track, so I've got it. I, I want to automate the filter from Nexus. A really, really, really simple way to do that is to just hit the little wrench right here to bring up Nexus, and I'm gonna go to whatever parameter I wanna automate. It doesn't matter what it is, but I want it to be this filter right here. I'm gonna click, move the filter. It automatically pops up into my automation lane. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. You know, communication is key between people in business, in music, whatever you're doing. It is also key between your VST and your DAW. Very important. Thank you, Ableton. That is sick. That is nice. I just want to automate this cutoff. Let's see what kind of filter we got. Low pass. Perfect. That's what I want. Perfect. That's good for now. I'm going to use the same pad again, but just to add higher notes in the register to build a chord. I'm just going to Command D to duplicate this nexus. Get rid of that. I want to get rid of this automation. All right, and I have fat fingers, so I hit a wrong note, but that's okay. I'm going to select it, delete it. If you hit Shift Command U, it's going to bring up your quantization preferences. You can choose what note value you want to quantize to. If you want to adjust the start or the end of the note, or both. Uh, and you can adjust the amount. You know, I'll maybe start at 70 and work my way up to see what feels the best. But for this instance, obviously, I just wanted to span the entire length of the clip. So I'm going to set it to 100, and there you go. If you're using the same settings in your session, let's say if this wasn't pulled all the way over and it looked kind of crazy, I could just select the notes and hit Command U, and it's just going to use whatever preferences I have specified here to quantize to. So that's just a quicker way to get it done. If you already know what your settings are, just command U and it'll quantize everything for you. But I don't want it to reveal that fast. I want the attack to be a lot slower. So I'm gonna come into Nexus and drag the attack all the way up. Like most other VSTs, it's got parameters for attack, decay, sustain, release. I want to have a really slow attack. So I'm gonna turn the attack up. Perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it. So I want to add a filter to these top notes. There will auto filter on there. So I'm gonna automate the frequency on this low pass filter. It's 
cool because you can adjust the drive. I think it's super dope. So drive, it sounds good. Adjust that drive. All right, I think that sounds pretty good. We've got a little bit of reverb. So the bass pad I've got automated through Nexus. And the higher pad I've got automated through the auto filter. Also, while I'm at it, I kept talking about that garbage earlier. I'm gonna get rid of that real quick. So what we're gonna do is pick this steep, steep, steep high pass. Gonna bring it up. Let's see where that crap was. Look at all that garbage. Look at all that garbage floating around. It's dirty down there. Look, cut that up. Cut it up. Cut it up. Cut it up. I'm not using anything in this sound below. Probably about 100, so I'm just going to cut it off right there. So that's good. And also to uh, expand the graphic visualization of this EQ, you just double click on it, which I think is super tight because you can get in here and go make it really huge. Pretty tight stuff. So let's see what we got so far. All right, at this point, I think I'm going to add the 8 millimeter sample to pop up right when the graphic changes. Let's see where that is. Go in here. Looks like it fades in about right. Ah. Well, I can tell you right now it's too loud. Maybe we'll put a band pass on it. Maybe that might sound cool. Uh, I, you know, I like to filter absolutely everything, but I think when I was putting the band pass filter on there, the sound lost its intelligibility. The sound lost enough definition where I couldn't, I couldn't tell what it was. A millimeter projector sound just needs more of those frequencies. And that's fine. But you know what I will do is put another filter on here and automate it coming back down to kind of close out the scene here. Of course, all you gotta do, grab your knob. There it is. Start it there, bring it down. And like we did last time, just hold option and click to modify this curve. All right, I just trimmed back the bass a little bit there. I thought it was ending really, really, really heavy. I like the bass building anticipation at the beginning, but I don't want it to carry all the way through. I wanted to finish on like a sparkly, like a sparkly note. I don't know. I like the bass to introduce it. Even though I ended it right there, it's got enough decay that it kind of lasts till the end anyway. If we the mirrors, it kind of just slowly floats away. So it's not even really, it's not going anywhere, it's not going anywhere too far, too fast, you know? It's just slowly walking out of the situation, just slowly walking away. And that's good. Just one more thing I might try to add is just uh, some more movement in the higher frequencies. Let's see what we can do for that. Let's pull up another Nexus, why not? Uh, you already know I like those plucks. <laughs> You already know I like those plucks, man. Oh, God. Um... All right, I think I found something that might work right here. Let's see. And actually, I want to turn the metronome up because I'm getting lost a little bit because I got a lot of stuff going on.
something super, super, super simple, and I might just freak this hard enough that you may not even be able to realize what it was in a past life. I've got my MIDI right here. I want to move it one octave up, so I'm going to Command A to, to select everything. I'm going to hold Shift and hit Up, and that's going to transpose me one octave. Maybe two. Yeah! I like that, but it's almost too rhythmic. I think I want to, I think I want to blur the lines and just have it. I'm just gonna freeze and flatten it and just I'm gonna freeze and flatten it and just see what happens. Let's look at this super 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 long tail here. If you hear something neat inside of a sample that you want to hang on to, like a certain chord or anything like that, if you've got like a big decay time on your reverb, just let it play, and then when you get to a part that you want to use... Like sometimes I'll just let, I'll let the full chord come up, and then I'll hit freeze, and it's gonna freeze that, and then from there you can go over here, just make a resampling track, and just record it. Put a little fade on there. Mm -hmm. I like it. What I don't like is the start of this projector sound. I don't like it. I I just don't like it. It's like somebody's like punching their space bar out of angst. Okay, well, what I thought was going to start off being a some kind of sparkle, uh, I just, you know, I didn't really like it up there, so I transposed it down two octaves. Um, maybe just to fill out some mids. Maybe just to fill out some mid frequencies. Let's see. I like it. I think the projector sound can come down a little bit. This is where naming your tracks comes in real handy when you go back and forth between views. Mid sparkle. I don't know. Just call it something. You know, that makes sense to me. I want to turn the projector down. Maybe turn the mid sparkle up a little bit. I feel like it's really, really low. I like it. I like it, you know? It's pretty basic. We only got, what, four sounds? I've got one really low pad. Uh, a higher pad to go on top of that, like a mid, some mid frequency stuff that I just froze and threw in there from the reverb, and then I've got the eight millimeter projector sound. You know, kind of makes me think of the sky a little bit, you know? Sounds like you're flying a little bit, you know? Yeah, sky view. Sky view. Yeah. Sounds like I'm in the sky. Sounds good. That was quick. That was easy. That was simple. 
Hopefully you learned something else. Hopefully that was entertaining. Maybe it was both. I don't know. If you have any questions about any of the concepts that I went through in this video, please hit me up. Let me know. I'd be glad to answer your questions. Take it easy. Till next time, hit me on Facebook. Hit me on Twitter. Hit me on Instagram. Let me know if you got any questions. And uh, <laughs> peace. Thank you.